Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Hello students, greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management. Those who have missed the national level mock test, here we have provided the link for attending the national level mock test with this video in the description box. Those who have missed the first national level mock test can attend the mock test by registering through the link so that you can able to judge your level before taking your upcoming FEP MAT examination. The second national level mock test we have planned from Feb 1st to Feb 10th, 2023. Those who are interested can enroll for the second state level national level mock test with a link provided in the description box. See, if you attend this mock test, definitely you'll get practice to the MAT examination pattern and you can test your patients while attending this national level mock test. As you all know, the timings for MAT exam is nearly up to two and a half hours. It's very hard to sit in a place to and attempt a test. So if you practice and if you attempt these two national level mock tests conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management, definitely you will get idea how to approach the upcoming Feb MAT examination. All the best students, don't forget to register for the second national level mock test as well. And in this video, we are going to discuss a tough data interpretation question which was asked in the December math question paper. So already we have solved all the 40 questions in mathematical skills and we have uploaded those videos. Let me provide you the link for those videos in the description box. After watching this video completely, you can refer to that videos also so that uh, you will get some knowledge about how to approach your upcoming Feb mat examination as well as your May mat examination. And one more thing I just want to say the question level is difficult when compared to September mat examination and the data interpretation part involves more calculative part. So you have to be strong with your basic speed max unless you are strong with your basic speed max it is very tough to crack data interpretation part and score more marks in data interpretation parts or as well as in mathematical skills also more than 30 plus questions involves skill based mathematics so you should practice speed max definitely to crack your upcoming web math examination the standard of questions are increasing that is the thing now let me discuss an important question, study the following line graph and table about the enrollment of PGDM students in various disciplines to answer the question that follows. Here, the line graph denotes the enrollment of PGDM students and the total number of PGDM students enrolled is 1,200. And this box denotes discipline-wise breakup of boys. Okay, then now see here. See, if you take a paper and note down, take a paper and pen and note down. In HR, 5% of the total students are in, in HR. In family business, 12% of the students were enrolled in family business. And in finance, 15%. And in IT sector, 20%. And in marketing, 23%. And in OM, that is operations management, 25%. Of the total students. Okay, what is 5% of 1,200? It is very simple. Okay, what is 50%? 100%, if 100% is 1,200, what is 50%? Half of 1,200, 600. And 5%, it is nothing but 60. So 60 students out of 1,200 students, 60 students are enrolled in HR. And in marketing, 12 percentage. See, 10 percentage is 120 and 1 percentage is 12, 2 percentage is 24, 120 plus 24, 144 is your answer. In finance, 15 percentage, if you calculate, you'll get 180. And in IT, 20 percentage. I know that 10 percentage is 120. 20 percentage is nothing but 10 percentage into 2. 120 into 2, you'll get 24, 240. And see here, 25 percentage. Let us come back. 
to 23 percentage so 25 percentage that is you have to divide 1200 by 4 to get 25 percentage these are the shortcuts you should keep it in mind okay so if i divide 1200 by 4 i'll get 300 as answer that is or you can take two halves half of 1200 is 600 that is nothing but 50 percentage and again if i take half i'll get 300 and what about 23 percentage it is around two seven to six. I'll just first I'll calculate for twenty percentage. Ten percentage I know it is one twenty. Twenty percentage is two forty. So two forty plus three percentage of thousand two hundred. I know that one percentage is twelve and three percentage is twelve into three thirty six. So two forty plus thirty six two seventy six is your answer. Okay, and this graph denotes percentage of boys. Okay, see keep it in mind that. In finance, how many students enrolled? 180 students enrolled. Okay. In family business, how many students have enrolled? So keep, let us see. Total. Okay. Let us take this as total. Okay. In family business, 144. And in marketing, 276. And in HR, 60. And in OM, 300. And in IT, 240. Okay, so percentage of boys and let us calculate the number of boys enrolled. Boys enrolled and number of girls in that. Okay, see, uh, first you just do the calculation whichever it is easy. See, here it is 50 percentage of the boys. So what 144, half of 144 is 72. So 72 boys and 72 girls. And here you see 25 percentage. I told you to take 25 percentage. You have to divide a number by if I take 60, half of 60 is 30, half of 30 is 15, and remaining 45 are girls. Right? And here it is 35. See, 10 percentage is 240, 24. 30 percentage is 24 into 3. 24 into 3 will get around 72, right? So 72 plus 5 percentage of this. 72 plus uh, 5 percentage is 12, 84. So 240 minus 84. 240 minus 80. First, do 240 minus 80. It is around 160. 160 minus 4. 156 is your answer. Okay. And here, around 87 percentage. So, instead of calculating 87 percentage, it is very tough. See, 87 percentage of boys and the remaining 13 percentage of girls, right? So, it is easy to calculate 13 percentage of 300. 10 percentage is 30 and 1 percentage is 3. Okay. 39. And remaining... 300 minus 39. First, do 300 minus 30. 270. 270 minus 9. 261. This is how you have to calculate. Okay. And similarly, here also you can calculate for 75 percentage. So, you can do for 25 percentage first. Okay. So, what is 25 percentage? You have to divide it by 4. Or you can take half of. Half of 276 is 138. And again, half of that is what? 69. Okay. So, 276 minus 69, 207. And here, 65 percentage, 117, 63. Okay, this is how you have to do your calculation. So, now I have made my calculation. Let us go to the questions now directly. So, let me keep this uh, table as well. See, one, once if you, if you complete this within 2 to 3 minutes, it is very simple to answer the remaining 5 questions and you can score the 5 marks. Okay, now, see here, let us move to the first question. And see here, I have formed a table, right? One second, I'll, uh, I'll complete the table. And first one is finance and family business. Let us take this family business. And this is for marketing. And this is for HR, OEM, and IT. Okay, now see. Which discipline has highest enrollment of girls? See, if I check this, which discipline? IT has highest enrollment of girls. See, within a fraction of a second, you are able to answer, right? Okay, now let us move to the next question. Now, the total number of girls from OM and HR are. So, OM and HR, you just add both the uh, OM and HR, you just add both the values. So, 39 plus 45, 9 plus 5, 60, uh, 14. Right? So it is around 84 is your answer. Okay. See, only if the thing is you have to form the table. Once you form the table, it is very easy to answer the questions. And this is a tricky question. The number of girls from IT firms 
So what are the number of girls from IIT forms 156? What percentage of boys from IIT? What percentage of boys from IIT? 84 into 100. See, I have to double this, right? Right? So, now I need to do the calculation in a smart way. Okay. See, if the value is here 84, if the same value is there in the numerator, your percentage is 100. And what is 84 into 2 is 168. If 168 is there in the numerator, your percentage is 200. But it is less than 168, right? Okay, if you do the calculation, so definitely, then one value is around 160 percentage and another value is around 190 percentage. See, what is 190 percentage? I have to take my, uh, 10 percentage of uh, 84, 8.4. Okay, so what is 200, uh, 84 into 2 is See, 84, if I take 84 into 2, I'll get around 168. 168 minus 8, it is around 160. If 160 is there in the numerator, my answer will be 190. But here it is 176, which is very much lesser than, which is very uh, lesser and nearer to 160. So the value which is lesser and nearer to 190 is nothing but 185. That is my answer. This is how you have to calculate. Okay, you cannot do the exact calculation in all the ways. Okay. You should be able to do the approximation calculation while doing your data interpretation part, for that you have to be thorough with your basic concept, basic speed match. Then what is the respective ratio of number of boys from marketing to those from finance? So boys from marketing, 207, and from finance, 117. So both the values are divisible by nine. Okay, because two plus seven, nine, 117, it is also nine. So I can say that is easily divisible by nine. So 23 is to 13 is my answer. Okay, now, total number of boys from all disciplines constitutes what percentage of total students you have to add the total number of boys in all the disciplines. See, 117 plus 72 plus 207 plus 2, you have to add all. First, add hundreds alone. And then add tens places and then add units places. Definitely that will be easy. So if you add all the values, you'll get around 756. Divided by total number of students, 1200 into 100. So zeros and zeros will get cancelled. If I cancel 12 in, in terms of 12 table as well, I'll get 72 6 times, 36 3 times. So 63 percentage is my answer. Okay. So hope you got some idea. So be practice with your fast mathematical skills. That is your speed match to approach mathematical part as well as <clears throat> your data interpretation part. So wait for our next video. The same data interpretation, one of the toughest question which was asked in the December 2022 question paper, we are going to solve in our next video. Wait for our next video. Uh, in one or two days, we are going to upload. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and also follow us. And before that, don't forget to register for our second national level mock test, which is going to be a tough mock test for the MAT aspirants. So you are going to feel the real MAT exam pattern before taking your uh, third MAT examination. Don't forget to register for this national level mock test. Definitely, it will be a great experience for you all to register for this national level mock test. So either you can directly contact 8870046080 or you just Click the link provided in the description box to enroll for the next second national level mock test. All the best students. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.